Modern civilizations exist on every continent except Antarctica, but most researchers believe that civilization began between 4000 and 3000 BC in Iraq, Egypt, India, China, Peru, and Mexico. Starting with Mesopotamia, these sophisticated cultures developed cultural and technological breakthroughs that survive today. A great many of the details of modern life, not just in the Middle East and the West, but across the world, have origins that go back for thousands of years to the ancient cultures in their respective regions, says Amanda Pareni, author and history professor emeritus at California State Polytechnic University. Here are six early civilizations and her legacies. 1. Mesopotamia, 4000 to 3500 BC. Mesopotamia, Iraq, Kuwait, and Syria, is the birthplace of civilization. Despite near constant warfare, the Tigris Euphrates culture made significant advances in reading, astronomy, agriculture, law, mathematics, architecture, and more. Babylon, Asher, and Akkad were the first urban cities. Mesopotamia is the earliest urban literate civilization on the globe, and the Sumerians, who established the civilization, established the ground rules, says Kenneth Harrell, author, consultant, and Tulane University history professor emeritus. Those who can research and write run civilization and everyone else does the grunt work. The Code of Hammurabi was written in cuneiform. The base 60 numeric system spawned the 60-second minute, 60-minute hour, and 360-degree circle. Babylonian astrology first divided the year into 12 periods named after constellations, what the Greeks would later call the zodiac. Persia invaded Mesopotamia in 500, and 39 BC centuries of instability followed. Within the three millennia in which ancient Mesopotamia flourished, innumerable individual kingdoms came and went, and a few empires rose and fell for various reasons, says Padani, author of the upcoming Weavers, Scribes, and Kings, a new history of the ancient Near East. But at its core, the civilization was recognizably the same from roughly 3500 BC to 323 BCE, and, many would argue, beyond that. The culture was stable, but the territory rarely unified. 2. Ancient Egypt, 3100 BC Ancient Egypt, one of the most idealized civilizations, ruled for over 3,000 years. The civilization, which once stretched from Syria to Sudan along the Fertile Nile River, is most renowned for its pyramids, tombs, mausoleums, and mummification of corpses. Empires of the Steppes How the Steppe Nomads forged the modern world author Harl argues Egypt's utilization of labor for architectural projects like the pyramids was unmatched. He thinks the capacity to gather 100,000 men to build the huge pyramid in 2600 BC is unmatched. He adds that Egyptians excelled in agriculture and medicine. They also created beautiful sculpture and art. Egyptians left enormous writing and mathematic systems. The pyramids and other constructions were designed using the cubit, a forearm length measurement. They created the 24-hour day and 365-day calendar. They developed the hieroglyphic graphic writing system and the ink on papyrus system. Alexander the Great captured the civilization in 332 BC. 3. Ancient India, 3300 BC. Harl states Hinduism was developed in ancient India, where religion, literature, and architecture were valued. Reincarnation and the birthright case system are still taught in the Upanishads, revered Hindu texts. The Indus River Valley civilization modern-day India, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, was not war-torn like other ancient civilizations. Instead, historians and archaeologists point to sophisticated city planning with grids, homogeneous baked brick dwellings and drainage, sewage, and water delivery systems. Migration, driven by climatic change or tectonic activity that dried out the Saraswati River approximately 1700 BC, collapsed the Indus Valley. Some say of massive deluge. 4. Ancient China, 2000 BC. The ancient Chinese civilizations existed in isolation for ages between the Yellow and Yangtze rivers, protected by the Himalayas, Pacific Ocean, and Gobi Desert. They created fortifications to halt Mongols from the north in 220 BC. Ancient China was ruled by four dynasties, Hexia, Shang, Zhu, and Qin. The civilization invented the decimal system, abacus, sundial, and printing press, which made Sun Tzu's The Art of War possible more than 2,000. 500 years later. Like the Egyptians, the ancient Chinese mobilized communities to undertake huge infrastructural projects. The 5th century Grand Canal, which connects the Yellow and Yangtze rivers, enabling massive military and cargo movements. 
Harl argues China may be the most successful centralized state ever, and at several points in human history is undoubtedly the greatest civilization that stayed on the globe. 5. Ancient Peru, 1200 BC. The Chaban, Paracas, Nazca, Ori, Mocha, and Inca developed in Peru. These tribes practiced metallurgy, ceramics, advanced medicine, and agriculture, according to archaeologists. The Inca Empire, which spanned Colombia to Chile, is famous for Machu Picchu, an Andean city with an intricate urban grid. Incas employed drawings and symbols instead of writing. However, they used a knot-based accounting system, built paved roads over rough terrain connecting towns and settlements, and developed complex agricultural and architectural advancements. Harl claims that Spanish introduced smallpox and other plagues weakened the Incas, aiding Francisco Pizarro's 1532 victory. They had no immunity, he claims, so disease introduced from the outside helped prepare for the Inca toppling of civilization in Peru, he said. 6. Ancient Mesoamerica, 1200 BC Starting around 1200 BC, the Olmec, Zapotec, Maya, Toltec, and Aztecs lived in Mexico and Central America. Corn, beans, vanilla, avocado, peppers, squashes, and cotton became major crops due to fertile farmland. Pyramid-style temples, elaborate pottery, stone monuments, turquoise jewelry, and other fine arts were found. The Mayans excelled in mathematics, hieroglyphics, architecture, and astronomy, while the Zapotec created Mesoamerica's first recorded calendar and writing system. In 1325, the nomadic Aztecs constructed Tenochtitlan, now Mexico City, on small islands in Lake Texcoco, which became a thriving commercial center. The Aztecs practiced human sacrifice and bloodletting, used picture writing, and made art using terracotta feathers, mosaics, and stone. By 1521, the Hernan Cortes led 1519 Spanish invasion, aided by Aztec enemies, ended the Aztec civilization. Harl believes the Aztecs struggled to govern their subjects when Cortes arrived. They were greatly hated, and Cortes gave enough advantage to all those disadvantaged subjects to topple the Aztec Empire.